Hey everyone, Dino Rubino here, and this is your Microsoft and Windows News Roundup. Let's get to it. All right, first up, it's the fall 2018 update for Windows 10. So if you've been following this story, it really hasn't gone very well for Microsoft. For instance, this month it's up to 29.3% of all Windows 10 PCs are evidently running an update from six months ago. To put that in perspective, the numbers increased about 3% from the last time we got those numbers, which was in March. Now these come from Ad Duplex, so they're not 100% reliable, but they do give you a snapshot of where we think Windows 10 is. As to why there is such a low adoption for this update, well, it seems like Microsoft is not quite pushing this out to a lot of devices out there. That's a really interesting and disappointing thing. Now, the update from April 2018 does dominate around 63%, so that's gonna be the more interesting story here. Will this all change for the May update, which is due in a few weeks? Fingers crossed it does, but we're gonna ask Microsoft at Build, what's the deal with this update? Why is it not rolling out to more users? Stay tuned for that. Next up, let's give some disappointing news. So Microsoft evidently won't be talking about Windows Lite at its Build Developer Conference happening here in the first week of May. And that's definitely disappointing. We have heard in the past that they were thinking about talking about it there, but our sources are telling us, no, do not expect that to happen. As to when we can expect Windows Lite, well, maybe not until fall 2019, at least for an announcement. Remember, we're not expecting new devices, including foldable display ones at least until 2020. So there's still a lot of time here, but it would have been nice for Microsoft to, I don't know, drum up a little bit of excitement for this. As to why they're not announcing it, well, evidently they want to concentrate a little bit more on developer tools, Azure, and well, even I'm getting bored of talking about that stuff. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens, but don't expect it next week at Build. We'll have to wait until the fall possibly. Speaking of Microsoft Build, what should we expect to be shown off? Well, Microsoft is obviously being tight-lipped there, but I can tell you we're probably expecting some Cortana news, as that was revealed recently in an app update that basically said new features for Microsoft Build. So that should be pretty exciting. I will say it's probably still not coming to your country, so don't get too excited about this update, but some of the things that will be shown off will be interesting. As for other things that will be shown off there at Build, well, we compiled a list of all the sessions that will be of interest. Some of those are around Microsoft Edge, which has a lot of momentum going around it, especially with the Chromium situation. We'll talk more about that later. And there's also some stuff around Universal Windows Platform, the UWP. Yes, they'll talk a little bit about that. And finally, the Microsoft Fluent Design System, which is the UI theory behind Windows 10. In fact, if you're on 20H1 right now, you may see some of this, what we talked about recently, which are rounded corners are coming to the UI. So expect Microsoft to talk a little bit more about that. But overall, yeah, build's gonna be a little bit dry this year. So just warning you ahead of time. Finally, let's talk about the Microsoft Edge browser, specifically the Chromium base version, which is now in testing. We also call it, friendly enough, Edgium, which is kind of a weird word, but it totally works. Anyway, the browser has had frequent updates, specifically in the Canary Ring, which gets updated nearly every day. And then those updates get translated to the dev version. So for instance, we now have page translation, which is really nice. There's also 32-bit support. So if you're running Windows 10 on ARM, you can actually install this. It's not running natively in ARM, but we are expecting that later on to come down. So this is really exciting. There's also been some minor tweaks and other features there. You can go check out the change log, but there's also now a controversy something that I talked about in a recent video that actually worried me, but I wasn't too concerned. Now I'm getting concerned. The problem here is Google appears to be messing with Microsoft. Specifically, a few days ago, if you were running the new Edgium browser, yes, I'm gonna call it Edgium, everything seemed to be working with Google services, specifically Google Meet. If you don't know what Google Meet is, it's just Google Hangouts version 2.0 or 3.0. I don't know, Google's a mess. Anyways, when you go there and you try to run Google Meet, it suddenly stopped working, says it's not compatible with your browser. Hey, go download Chrome or Firefox and have a good time. Unfortunately, that's not accurate at all, as obviously if you change the browser string ID to Chrome, it magically works. So what's happening here? Some people have said that Microsoft changed its browser ID string, and this confused Google because they are incapable of understanding this. That's actually not true. None of the browser ID strings here for the new version of Edge have changed. They've always been the same since its release. What happened though, it just stopped working, which makes it sound like Google removed it from their allow list. I should also point out browser ID strings are a real sloppy way to check for app compatibility or browser compatibility in this case. After all, they can detect the fact it's running a Chromium browser and do a feature check against it and see if it can actually run their services. Now as to why Google is doing this, who really knows? They may just want you to go download their Chrome browser. Now to Google's credit, they have said when the final version of this browser comes out, they're looking forward to supporting 
doing it and working with Microsoft, I'm starting to get skeptical here. And this really raises the problem with going all in on a Chromium based project, which is Google can sort of mess with Microsoft whenever they want to. And so far, Microsoft has been very quiet about this. I reached out to their PR, asked for a comment. They're saying nothing. And my guess behind that is they don't really want to tick off Google anymore and throw them under the bus publicly, which is why I'm here to do it for them. Google, get your act together. This is not how mature companies should be behaving in 2019, especially when we're talking about browsers and standards, you can definitely do better than this. Remember that old slogan you actually abandoned? Don't be evil. Maybe you should return to it. All right, so that does it for this Microsoft and Windows News Roundup. Now, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and tell me what you think Microsoft should do about this Google situation. Otherwise, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care, everyone.